container ship Express Pearl Rock by explosion engulfed in fire at Colombo. Cargo in containers on board of container ship Express Pearl caught fire in the outer on Colombo Anchorage. Ship arrived at Colombo Anchorage on May 19th from Asia, India. With 1486 containers on board loaded among other goods with nitric acid and other chemicals and cosmetics. LOC Stellar Banner scuttled off Brazil. Salvers working the Stellar Banner wreck off the coast of the Brazil have scuttled the vessel more than three months after she ran aground loaded with iron ore. The 300,000 PWP very large oil carrier was intentionally sunk Friday approximately 150 kilometers from the ramp. A video of the scuttling is below. The Marshall Islands registered MV Stellar Banner ran aground approximately 100 kilometers from the coast of São Luís on February 24, 2020, and the departed bales caught the Damadira Maritime Terminal with more than 270,000 tons of iron ore bound for China. All 20 crew members were subsequently evacuated in good condition. The vessel was reported earlier this month following the removal of approximately 145,000 metric tons of iron ore from the vessel's works. Due to the condition of the ship, the decision was made to sink the vessel in deeper waters with any remaining iron ore on board. Authorities said they do not believe the remaining iron ore poses a threat to the marine environment. A very large ore carrier is the largest classification of dry bulk ships in the world with capacity to carry up to 400,000 tons of cargo. Stellar Banner is owned and operated by South Korea's Polaris Shipping and is chartered to Brazilian mining giant Bale to transport iron ore from Brazil to China. Soon after the grounding, Vale reported that based on reports from Polaris Shipping, the vessel had suffered damage to its bow in the shipping channel as it departed the port and grounded to prevent it from sinking. Experts later determined from preliminary reports that the impacted portion of the stellar banner was of 25 meters in length near the starboard bow. The salvage operation was led by the Dutch salvage Smith Salvage with help from the Brazilian 